by John Kamau's scandal of siphon fuel at Kenya Pipeline Company deepened on Wednesday after it emerged that 51 million liters of jet fuel, worth shish 5 billion, has gone missing from the stocks, triggering an unprecedented crisis at Mwanjomo Kenyatta International, JKIA, airport. Already, the Kenya Airports Authority has issued a notum, a written notification issued to pilots before a flight, asking them to refuel at other locations until the crisis is over. As the crisis continues, the oil marketers have been left in a quandary since they believed that they had a total of 61 million liters in stocks, only to be informed that KPC was only holding 10.5 million liters. Village The whereabouts of the fuel remains a mystery and the oil marketers have written to the acting KPC managing director Hudson and Ambi seeking for answers. The 51 million liters variants of RDPK jet stocks in the KPC system requires an explanation from KPC as we have already imported this stock and discharged it into the KPC system, and the same confirmed in your records, the letter signed by all the oil marketers in Kenya said. Previously, the oil marketers had refused to pick the tab over another 11 million liters which KPC had claimed to have either been stolen or lost through spillage. Why are we being asked to buy more fuel when we had enough stock, an oil marketer asked. Audit the KPC has been on the spotlight for the last one year over loss of fuel worth billions of shillings which was accounted in the books as spillage and paid either by insurance companies or passed on to consumers through a racket that involved the Energy Regulatory Commission. This is precisely why we welcomed the request for a forensic audit, Mr. John Nagumi, the chairman of KPC, said. We have had a historical problem with jet oil losses at the pump station at the airport, and also because of the adulteration. We believe we have cracked the JKIA problem, he said without going into details. A few months back, the oil marketers refused to continue covering the shadowy syndicate at KPC and blew the whistle after they were told that 11 million liters of fuel had gone missing through either spillage or theft. Sang sent home the KPC had told the oil marketing companies that more than 7.2 million liters were lost through spillage and another 4.4 million liters stolen at Koru, near Kismu. The loss triggered a fallout within the KPC, and the board forced out then managing director Joe Sang and senior managers. While Mr. Sang and other senior managers were later charged in court over the Kissimmee oil jetty scandal and abuse of office, willful failure to follow procedures and engaging in a project without prior planning, it now appears that the rod within KPC is deeper than previously reported. The other five managers who were charged are Gloria Ribaikafafa, company secretary, Vincent Courier Cherio, general manager, supply chain, Billy Latunya Aseka, general manager, infrastructure, Nicholas Gitobu, procurement manager, and Samuel Odoyo, general manager, finance. The loss of the 51 million liters of jet fuel, thought to have been sold to adulterate petrol, came at a time when the oil marketers are conducting an audit of their stocks at KPC. The call for audit followed a follow-out between the marketers and Mr. Sang's managers, 